This is a short video demonstration about Program Express, a web-based portfolio program and project reporting, or sometimes known as a light PPM solution, where our aim is to automate project reporting, um, replace labor-intensive and manual processes uh, with a quick to implement, simple and intuitive, and cost-effective solution. So we've done a short video demonstration for the co-op using color palettes uh, and logos uh, for the co-op. Program Express is a cloud-based solution. Every client has their own URL. Uh, this is a demo system, so this is demo 10. And we're going to log on as an administrator. You can be an administrator, a write access user, or a read-only user. And this will take us into our home screen. And as an administrator, this means that we can see all the projects within the application or within the portfolio. A purely demonstration structure. You can have your own portfolio programs, as many, as few as you want, and as many levels and sub-levels. But from this home screen, you can see and do most things in terms of uh, viewing the health of the data. You can uh, drill down into the modules um, related to the uh, projects. Um, you can view by red, amber, green status across the modules shown here as icons, uh, better described as commentary, plan, resources, cost, benefits, impacts, risks, and logs. So you can do that, or you can run reports, which either you have set up within your own user license, or shared reports that have been set up by uh, the central projects team, the PMO, or the program office. Now, Program Express is very much about simple data input and powerful program and portfolio reporting output, as well as individual uh, project reporting. So if we show the view from a user perspective and its simplicity, if we log on as a project manager who has been given filtered views, and they will see their home screen, but they will only see the projects that they have been given access to update, i.e. write access, um, or you could toggle between read access or show all read and write. So they're expected to update those three projects and update just four out of the modules, commentary, plan, costs, and risks. Remember, this is purely uh, for demonstration. So a project manager would select their project. They would click on the square, in this case, commentary. They would see what they said last time. They would make their updates in the commentary threads, which are configurable. They would then move through to the plan. They would have a look at the plan, make any updates to dates or add or delete key tasks and milestones. Move through to the costs, amend the forecast, add cost items, remove cost items, and then review the risk register, make any amendments necessary. So when the project manager has made the data changes, they would then probably want to see that data in the form of a report. And they could go to a report that they'd set up. Um, this example will be the one page summary uh, PPT because it sits nicely as a PowerPoint slide. So here we'll show a sort of plan on a page, the project, some RAG information, um, some key milestone information, financials, and the commentary threads that we've configured specifically for this report. So, a simple experience for the user, and the whole idea is that all the users across lots of projects will be making their simple updates. And then as an administrator, we'll be able to see into the home screen where we were before. We can see all the projects sitting within all the portfolios. So I'll open up those programs again. We know that the data is up to date. There are plenty of audit reports to uh, double check that. Um, we'll probably be drawn to the reds. So we could filter out the greens and the ambers. Uh, we can now drill down into where the problem areas are. So if we select an example, Project 1C, uh, the problem there is in terms of costs. That's a red. And we can see that the forecast cost exceeds the planned cost or the budget with a variance and hence red status. More likely, the administrator 
is going to want to start running projects, program or portfolio reports now. So if we go up to program and go up to portfolio, and for this example, let's have a look at some shared reports. Um, these are the ones that the PMO, the projects team has recommended for us, although we could set our own up. Um, and we'll run a reg status summary. So this is an Excel type report, but it's automatically consolidating and aggregating all the data and producing a real time report, as you will see with the columns that we've configured specifically for this report. And this, these columns and the data can change. These are just examples. Or we're running again at portfolio level. You can run these reports at any level. Um, run a Gantt chart report. So here we've got a Gantt view of again all the programs and projects sitting within the portfolio. We use the red amber green methodology for our taskbars. Red meaning it's missed today's date, and amber meaning it's forecasting to be later than what was originally expected. Same data, different view, milestone summary. This is more of a timeline view of um, the key milestones, expected delivery dates, and again, they're held using red, amber, green status for all the projects because we're running at portfolio level. And one more example, resource usage. Again, this will be an Excel style report but it's not independent Excel, it's aligned to the plan of Program Express. So the data will move depending on plan, plan date changes. And here we will see all our resources. We'll see what projects they're working on and the number of days in a period and their aggregated total for those periods. So we can see where we have hotspots or problem areas of resource over allocation. So there's lots of functionality. That's just a very short video demonstration. As mentioned, lots of different modules. Uh, we've also got document storage, document repository, document template management, more reportings and dashboards, and all the sort of like settings, especially for administrators to configure the system to make it more like your own. But for now, thank you for watching that short demonstration. And having seen that short video, um, if you feel like you may have a requirement and would like to get in touch, you can see our contact details, phone, email, website. And the call to action is, well, we've developed that short demo with your own brand identity. Um, but following on, we could arrange a, a webinar with full of functionality, um, a face-to-face -face meeting, which is preferable, and hopefully plan a pilot implementation. But for now, thank you very much for watching.